Hey guys, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine, and we're going to make something super cute tonight. Um, I've been packing orders all day, and it's popping up on here wanting me to share. So, hey guys, say hey once you hop on. Hey everybody. Got my new shirts, aren't they cute? Pull it down in the back. Hey Vicky, how are you? Hey Carrie. Hey guys, hey, 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 I've had a good day. How about you, Tammy? I've had a good day. I hope all of you had a good Monday. Um, it's fun to come on here and see all my friends on Monday. I look forward to Mondays and Fridays. <clears throat> so we're gonna do something super cute. Uh, I was real undecided about what to do tonight. And I've had this kind of in my back pocket. And then after I showed y'all um, the little these last night in my little gumball machine. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, Billy. Hey, Shaney. Um, hey, Cherise. Thank you for sprinkling. Um, and when I showed y'all the little bubble gum machine last night with these in it, I was like, I'm going to bring that out and show y'all tonight how. Oh, thank you. It's in my store. <coughs> I do too. They're super soft and I love, I love, this is probably my favorite. Be the light. Um, thank you, Christy, for the stars. Um, hey, Darlene. Before we start, <clears throat> I want to show you this. Susie Hollis, I don't know if she is on. She sent me something in the mail. And I want to show you all the card that she sent. Is that not the most beautiful thing? And it's got this little, she wrote a little letter in there. <clears throat> but isn't that the coolest card? And that's my favorite flower is a stargazer lily and i was like oh my gosh this is so cute look at that that is so cute look <laughs> um hey so i'll probably put this up in my room and leave it open like this because it's so stinking cute but let me show you what she made y'all she made me <clears throat> and a throw or an afghan or whatever you want to call it <clears throat> and this thing is like ginormous and I don't know if y'all can see it, but it, yeah, you can. It has hearts on it. And the hearts are like, hey, Vicky, the hearts are like little, little pom pom -y things in the yarn. Isn't that the prettiest thing ever? Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Oh, yeah, I, I love my cup too. Dana um, Merritt, she made that cup and sent it to me. But look how stinking pretty this is. I had to show it to y'all. I mean, it's like huge. <laughs> and my husband was like, that took a long time. Thank you, Cecilia, for the stars. Isn't that pretty? So I had to show y'all my my, <clears throat> my afghan or my throw or I don't know if people call them afghans anymore. Do they call them afghans? Okay. It is beautiful. Isn't that sweet of her? Thank you, Susie Hollis, for that. That was so pretty. Um... <clears throat> and I got another box in the mail today from Terry Chisholm. And I will show y'all that next time I'm live because it's got a lot of stuff in it. And I was so surprised. Thank you, Carolina, for the stars. Um, okay, so we're going to get started. We're going to make a bubble gum machine. But um, I picked these items up at Dollar Tree uh, the other day. and Well, it's been about a week or so ago because I knew that if I showed y'all mine that y'all would want to make one. Well, they're hard to find at Target because they, they came out several weeks ago at Target. And I picked one up and then I finally got to finish in mine, uh, to paint mine and all that when the weather was nice outside. Because, you know, you can't spray paint if it's too cold. <clears throat> yeah, turquoise throw. Isn't that pretty? So, anyway, so this is a glass from the Dollar Tree. Just a regular glass. It's got a real heavy bottom on it. I have ran some sandpaper over it. Um, just to try to rough it up a little bit, but it kind of worked, kind of didn't. It made it all scratchy, but it's, it's okay. Um, I know that's a lot of time and work that went into that throw. I know it's so pretty. Thank you about my shirt. It says, be the light. And it says, um, Matthew five fourteen on it. Isn't that pretty? <clears throat> okay. So I got this glass from the Dollar Tree and then the little bitty fish bowl. And for the top, I just kind of walked around the Dollar Tree thinking, okay, I need something for the top that's going to be on the top. So I went into the, the um, where the office supplies are. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Laurie. 
Hey Heidi. And um, these are those little magnetic tins. Those they're not it's plastic, but they have the metal ones too. But these come in different colors. <clears throat> and so I'm gonna use I was I was debating on what to use for the top or the bottom for the top. So what I'm gonna do is we are going to build a gumball machine like this. So we're gonna have this, okay? <clears throat> and then we're gonna have, I'm gonna use a little knob for the top. So we're gonna paint it and we're gonna make it all pretty. And then we're gonna put it together. <clears throat> so that's what I'm gonna do tonight. People are buying them. I know, Brenda, people are buying those gumball machines because I am on, um, I'm using Waverly White. We're gonna use white to start with, but I'm gonna make it a color. I'm gonna make it a color. Cause my other one is white. Um, so I wanna do this one a little bit of a color. But yeah, people are buying them up and selling them on Macari. Is it Macari? Um, and just for crazy outlandish prices. And they were only $3 at Target. And you can still look at your Target and see if they have them. <clears throat> they may still have them. All right, so I'm just gonna put a coat on here. Oh, you know what I forgot? Oh, I forgot, I forgot something. But I guess I can do it after the next coat. I'm gonna do a coat and then I'll do what I, cause I'm gonna add some detail to it. We're gonna be magical and add some detail. I almost forgot and I practiced before I came on. So um, I could, uh, I'm gonna paint the bottom too. Just so if you see through the bottom of the gumball machine, it'll it'll look all one piece. So I'm gonna paint this, but um, but yeah, I've had that gumball machine for a while, and like I said, the weather was crummy. Either it was raining or too cold, and I couldn't get outside and spray paint it. And then it finally uh, warmed up one day for me to get outside and spray paint my gumball machine because I had to tape it up because it was originally red, a real bright red. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to put a coat on here and then I'm going to add some detail. I almost forgot. They're in the, um, the bullseye playground up at the front of the store where they have all the little dollar stuff and all the little, little things. Oh, thank you. It's in my shop. I got my shirt so I can wear it on. <coughs> Excuse me. I was whooping down some food a minute ago trying to hurry before I came live. Um, but yeah, those little gumball machines, I'm on several like Ray Dunn pages and people are painting them all kinds of pretty colors. Pink, real light pink. And um, yes, I will make more of the little envelopes. Hey, from Kentucky, I missed your name. Welcome, welcome to my page. And I'm just, um, <clears throat> Just gonna dry this one coat, and you'll probably be able to see what I'm doing on it anyway a little better. What I'm gonna do to it to give it a little detail. I don't make chalk paint. No, I, this is just Waverly from Walmart. Um, I think um, Nicole from Afraid Not. I think she makes chalk paint. <clears throat> kind of got thick on that side. Made it crack a little bit, but it'll add a little character. Whoop. I'll knock everything over. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be brave, okay? And I am going to, this is hot enough. I had just almost forgot to plug the thing in. Um, I'm going to actually put some detail on here with my glue gun and be brave <laughs> and try to Draw a, <clears throat> I didn't smudge the paint over here. I already got it on me. See, I smudged it. <laughs> and try to, I'm going to draw. Let me pull that back before I scratch my paint. This is going to be a messy project because I can already tell I've already got it all over me. Hey, Mary Kay. Okay, so I'm going to draw a two. I'm going to attempt to draw a two. I'm going to do 25 cents with my glue gun. I've already practiced this one time today, so <laughs> I'm hoping it looks as good as it did when I did it by myself. This is kind of not easy task to draw with a hot with hot glue. 
But once we get it painted, <clears throat> any little imperfections are going to be kind of covered up. So hang on, I'll show it to y'all. Got my little scent sign. You have to be real easy on the trigger for sure because it's kind of a little tedious. Okay. So I'm going to let that set up a second. <clears throat> but I don't know if y'all can see it because it's white. I don't know if y'all can. There you go. See? I did my 25 cents. So when I, <clears throat> when I paint over it, you're going to be able to see the bumps and stuff. Um, I kind of want to do something else, but I don't know what. I'm just going to draw a line all the way around. See what happens. Hey, Kelly. I'm just making a line of glue. <coughs> hey, I don't know what that... Somebody said, hey, catching you live. I don't know who it was. So you can just have fun with this and draw whatever you want to on your gumball machine. And yeah, this is going to kind of look a little bumpy and lumpy and all that stuff. I just drew kind of a, that helped a minute ago. I just drew a line around the top. Let's see, what else can I do? <clears throat> Maybe I'll make a little, a little door like where the gum comes out at the bottom. So I practiced on another little jar that I had earlier and painted on it and painted over it and it looked really, really good. So I'm hoping that this is gonna turn out because so this is gonna be a first for me because I've never like done hot glue and tried to draw with it and then paint over the top. So <coughs> y'all, I don't know my throat. Um, now I'm trying to get my little strings. I know I could use the heat gun, but I'm trying to get let that get good and set up and get those strings off of there in between my numbers. Okay, so painting it first probably actually helped the, um, let's see if I can get it to y'all can see it. There we go. See, I just did like a little hatch where the gum, where it comes out and then I did this line around the top. So you could do your heart's desire, just put dots around it. You could put those little flat pearls that you can get at Dollar Tree you can actually stick those around and then paint over them and it's going to make make it look like little raised bumps. Um, <clears throat> let me let that set up. Oh, you're what? You're okay, Sharon. I just got started. We're making a gumball machine. Um, that's not set up just yet. Oh, you made lightning bolts out of hot glue and painted them. That's cool. So my line's not exactly like perfect but it's gonna be okay i think once we paint it hey gail i think once we paint over it i think it's gonna look fine um come on come on come on okay all right so now i'm gonna i think it's dry so now i'm gonna put another coat and it may only take two coats because i didn't think it would cover as good as it is but um it's covering it pretty well. That's why I love chalk paint. Hey, Marie. <clears throat> so this is going to look really cute. And you could rub like the dark wax over it if you wanted to, to make it this, the glue stand out the raised parts. If you wanted to do that, you could. So we're going to Try and see, where did the little hearts behind you on the shelves come from? I cut those and painted them. <laughs> I was playing around one day and I cut them and painted them. <laughs> now everybody's going to want those. <clears throat> is it ceramic or plastic? This is a glass from, it's a, just a regular glass from Dollar Tree. Like a, like a little drinking glass. And it's pretty heavy. I was surprised when I picked it up of how heavy it was. Um, but I wanted something 
heavy. And I've seen people use the clay pots. You could get a clay pot and use for the base of yours if you wanted to. But um, I was just trying to look for stuff at the Dollar Tree while I was there. <clears throat> and um, trying to make it, you know, Dollar Tree where, I'll, where you could get everything. How did, oh, how's Deidre doing? She's doing okay. Um, she's, you know, feeling lousy. But she's hanging in there. She's holding her on. Um, hey, Lindy. And um, she's okay. She's um, she just been sick a lot, real nauseous and sick, and just she can't, she can't sleep. And but she's she's doing okay, and she appreciates every one of y'all's prayers and the shirts. And um, I'll get to go see her Friday. I'm going down there to see her because um, Paige, my soon-to-be daughter-in-law, is going uh, wedding dress shopping, and I'm going with her. But I'm staying with Deidre. <clears throat> and I'm excited to get to see her because it's just killing me that I'm here and she's there and I can't, you know, I can't be with her all, you know, during all this and it's killing me. Let's see what everybody's saying. Hey, Kathy. So I'm just painting away. I'm going to let it. And I'm going to dry it, but I'm going to, I'm not going to get that hot glue that I put on there. Um, you can see my 25 cents. I'm not going to get my hot, the hot glue too hot with my glue gun because I'm scared it might melt it. It's Waverly chalk paint. Yes. White. But I'm not leaving it white. Because <laughs> my other one's white. So we are going to add some color to the chalk paint in just a second. They did give her nausea medicine, but it's it's not only doing so much. Um, but she's uh, she's hanging in there. I thought maybe she might come on. I don't know what she's if she's not feeling good. But she asked me what I was doing tonight because usually I I have to ask her opinion about hey what do you think about this and you know she's my person. <laughs> she's my person. get this dry and we're gonna so what color do y'all think I need to paint it <laughs> just try not to get that hot glue too hot because I don't want it to slide off of my glass but I think maybe painting the glass a coat first is gonna help it um help it stay on so I'm gonna show it to y'all so you see how you how good you can see that 25 cents in my little my, I can't find it. My little hatch down here where the gum would come out. I think it just adds a little something to it. Pink, pink hearts. No, the hearts, look at my hands, y'all. I swear, I cannot be, and I can't touch that because my afghan's over there. I'll get it. I can't get my, my baby wipes out because I want to touch my throat and get it all over. Okay, so I did the base coat, and I'm going to add some of my favorite color. Light turquoise. I don't know if y'all can see it by Anita's. Um, and I've got a couple of bottles. I've got like three bottles over here that are barely have any in it. Turquoise, of course. <laughs> so I'm going to put some turquoise in my paint and make this chalk paint. Um, I got a big wad of it over here. Make it turquoise. Because my other one I have is white. Hot glue. <laughs> she has down. I don't know about that. It it looks rough up close, but I think it's just going to add to the, the, you know, the style of it. I just want it to look a little vintage. I'm making a gumball machine for somebody who just asked. I, sh I showed the picture last night of my little letters that were inside of my gumball machine. And um, it was the perfect time to break this out. Oh, yeah, turquoise and red. Yeah. Okay, so there's my, it made it a little bit lighter than the actual color because it's white, of course, but um, it's okay because that's, uh, that's fine. It's going to be a real pretty soft, soft color. Okay, so I'm just going to paint this on. See how pretty that is? Ooh, y'all, it's going to look so pretty. 
But um, the people that I've seen on Facebook in those groups that are painting the gumball machines, they're they're doing them this light color, white. I've seen some baby pink ones. And, y'all, they are just adorable. Just so stinking cute. Because it was like a bright red. Not even like a Christmas red. It was like a candy apple red. Real bright, bright red. And, uh, and I mean, it was cute the way it was. But after I saw everybody else painting them, I was like, I'm going to paint mine. And then I had to sit on it for a while. Um, um, I had to sit on it a while and decide what color. But I went with white just because it'll go with, you know, every holiday. It'll go with, you know, Christmas, Easter. I can keep it out and change the stuff on the inside. Um, some people were putting little snowmen and snow in the bottom. Like a little, um, a little snow globe. And y'all, they're so stinking cute. Because they, I don't even know when they came out. It's been a few weeks ago. May have been right after Christmas. I just happened to look up on them and find them. Alright. So I'm going to be through painting this glass. And then we're going to work on the top. Guess I should have painted it white while I had the white out. But oh well. I got two paint brushes. Alright. We're going to set this and let this dry. Maybe I didn't miss a spot. Paint the top, or the bottom, rather. <laughs> Paint where my thumb goes. Okay, so I'm going to set it over here and let it dry. See what y'all are saying. Okay, so let's get my top. So this is the container that we're going to use for the top. They have, have them at Dollar Tree. It's a little magnetic thing. And then here, I'm going to take the top off because I couldn't decide if I wanted to use this <clears throat> or that. And so, I've asked uh, several people <laughs> and uh, everybody said this one. So, I'm going to use this one. Um, if you wanted to do two, you could have two gumball machines out of one container and buy two glasses and two of these and you'd have two. Uh, one would just be a little different. Where is my... Here it is. Okay, so you can use whatever you want for the little knob. Um, they make little wood knobs, too, that you can use. But this is just like a, it's a gnome nose is what I call it. But it's a it's a bead. They have them at Hobby Lobby. And you can use a wood bead if you want to. You can use those little, um, well, these little squares right here. Those little, I'm going to knock everything down. These little squares right here. You can use those that they have at the Dollar Tree. You can use whatever you want to use. But I'm going to use this little, um, it's flat on the bottom. And they have them at Hobby Lobby. But I'm about to super glue this little dude on. Okay. Yeah, it's warm here too. It's It was like 67 today. So I'm going to put a little super glue gel. It's my favorite. It's what I glue all my wood stuff together with. And try to find the center of this little dude. Because it gives you just a minute to kind of move it around. I hope that's the center. Okay. And then I just kind of mash on it and let it sit for a second. And it's going to, it's going to, um, hey Kathy. It's going to um, set up in just a second. I'm making a gumball machine. Thank you, Kathy. Okay. So, see, it, it don't take long. It sets up pretty fast. And you could paint this another color. I'm just going to paint it all one color. Um, where's my paintbrush? Here we go. Get this one. I'm going to put some more white out here. Yeah, the little doll heads. I don't know really what they're supposed to be called. I use them for gnome noses and whatever. Um... You could use whatever you got in your craft stash. Just find something that looks like a little knob. And once you paint it, you're not going to know what it is, really. So, if it looks like a knob, then go for it. And I hope this little ball don't fall off. <laughs> I hope I gave it enough time to set up. 
Yes, Dana Merritt makes the, um, she makes the known cups, and I think, um, y'all have, a lot of y'all have contacted her about those cups, because they are so stinking adorable. Um, I love mine. I think he's so cute. You had to hand wash it. Oh, thank you. It's in my shop. I finally got them. She mailed them to me, and I was so excited. I got my shirts. Now, just for the sake of us being on here, I won't paint the inside, but I will go back and I will paint the inside just so you can't see any of that paint. But since we're, you know, on here live and I don't want to keep y'all all night, me watching me paint, um, I will paint the inside of it at, later on. But I'll finish it after we get off. Where's my heat gun? Alright, so I'm just drying it. So I got my little bead on top. Oh, uh, there's Deidre. She's made it on. It's my person. Everybody's asking about you, Deidre. They're wanting to know how you are. They're all worried about you. She's one of my biggest fans, y'all. She's like, you can do this. I know you can. You can get on there and craft in front of people. You're fine. You can do this. Oh, there she is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to cry. <laughs> you can keep us all night. It's fine. <laughs> okay, Carrie. <laughs> all right, I'm just drying, drying, drying. Okay, so did y'all see my funny story that I posted about um, when I was at the Dollar Tree of how I walked off and left my cart? And y'all, I read y'all's comments on that post and I just laughed all over again. Um, <laughs> I did, I left my cart. If y'all didn't see it, um... If y'all didn't see my post, I went to the Dollar Tree Friday, was it Friday? Saturday? I don't even know what day it was. Friday, Saturday. And I went to the big one in, up in Memphis. It's in Germantown. It's a real big Dollar Tree. We were going to do something else in Memphis, and I said, can you run me by there? And my husband was like, yeah. So he waited in the truck for me. And, um, oh, look, Deidre, they're all, they're all sending their little thoughts for you. Y'all are such sweet people. I mean, y'all are just so sweet. Um, but anyhow, and so I go in the Dollar Tree and I get my cart. And my husband stayed in the car, in the truck. And I ran on in. I said, I won't be long. And it's a big Dollar Tree. So I got me a cart and I was rushing around trying to throw my stuff in the, in the buggy. And, you know, trying to hurry because I didn't want to leave him sitting out there. For a long time which he was like it's fine you could have took your time i'm like it's fine so i get all 49 items in my cart that's how much my bill was 49 50 or something like that and i'm going through a last sweep through the store like really quick and like i left my buggy at the end of the aisle and i'd run down the aisle and go oh do i need those no i don't need those and come back and get my buggy and then i'd go down the aisle again leave my buggy well, I get up to the checkout, and I look down in my buggy, and it ain't my buggy, y'all. I don't know what. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's not my buggy. <laughs> Where's my buggy with all my stuff? Because I was like, I don't want to have to go back around the whole store again to get all the stuff that I had. And I forgot what all I picked up. So I'm running through the store like a mad, crazy person. And I'm looking at people's buggy like, is that my buggy? Do they have my buggy? Because I thought, well, I got somebody else's buggy and they got mine. It was right where I left it. Like a crazy person. I know people probably thought I was nuts. Because I was walking around and probably thought I was a thought I was a stalker or something looking at looking at everybody like they're, you know checking them out and I was really just checking out their buggy because I 
picked up, I, don't, I guess it was a buggy. They were stocking stuff in the shelves. And <laughs> I don't know what I did. And then I was so beside myself. I get out to the truck and I forgot to even tell my husband about it. Uh, we got to tell him about something else and I forgot to tell him. But, um, and then I read all y'all's comments on that post. And I got to laughing. And y'all just cracked me up. Um, it was so stinking hilarious. But you know, if I was by myself, it would have it would have been that big a deal. I would have just, if I couldn't find it, I just would have got another buggy and started shopping again <laughs> and done it twice. <laughs> Might have seen some other stuff I needed. Um, but anyways, <laughs> I told my husband he was like, he's like, you it'd have been fine. I would have waited out in the truck. I'm like, oh, he's so sweet. Oh. I laugh so hard when I was reading that. I laughed when I read some of y'all's comments. Yeah, they probably thought I was nuts. Walk around stalking everybody. Like a crazy person. See my 25? Can y'all see it? Look how sick and cute it looks. Yeah, I'm the Dollar Tree buggy stalker. I I feel like a complete nincompoop. I, I, I'm like, I, that kid teaches me to leave the buggy on the end of the aisle and go down the aisle and come back and grab the wrong... I don't know what I did. I don't even know how that happened. <laughs> I laughed at y'all's comments. I just got so tickled when I read it all. I'm over here melting stuff with my, my heat gun. Okay, so there's our top and the bottom and like i said i would i'll go back and paint that pink just so it won't show um and it may not even show but so what i'm gonna do now is that my paintbrush is in the water before i leave them out here all night dried up look at my fingers is i'm going to take i know y'all are wondering isn't that gonna scratch off the glass and it might it might do it so just in i gotta get a paintbrush y'all i don't have a paintbrush let me clean this one out. I'm going to coat it with Mod Podge um, just to kind of put a sealer on it. Um, hopefully, I can get this paintbrush kind of clean because I didn't get a third one for my Mod Podge. Um, I'm going to coat it with Mod Podge just so... <laughs> you saw my post and laughed. You were thankful that you're normal. <laughs> oh, Darlene, you're sweet. You put your stuff in someone else's basket. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is just funny. All right, let me get my plate back. And I'm going to just coat it with Mod Podge just in case, you you know, nobody's really going to be touching it. But just for the sake of, okay, I hope it's not going to scratch off. Because I've already tried this too, and I tried to scratch it, and it worked pretty good. So I'm just going to seal it with Mod Podge. Everybody knows about Mod Podge. Just a little Mod Podge bottle from Dollar Tree. I use the little bottle. I actually have a big bottle of it. And then I refill um, these with uh, my big bottle. Because I like to squirt it out of the little bottle. Just much easier than pouring it out of the big one. Alright. Just getting that coated good. You know, that'll dry pretty fast. Then we got to put this baby together. Thank y'all for being so sweet to Deidre. You saw it, it made you laugh. <laughs> it made me laugh at myself because I was just like, Lord. I was just proud I found the thing because I was like, I'm going to have to do this twice. And my husband's going to be like, Lord, have mercy. What were you doing in that store for so long? And I really wasn't in there a long time and grabbed somehow grabbed almost 50 items while I was in there that little bit of time. It's not hard to do, is it? I was like, this is not my buggy. I bet the look on my face, though, was priceless when I realized that it wasn't mine. Where's the shirt? It's in my shop. Um, if you'll go to the turquoisevalentine.com, and at the top of the thing, it'll say my shop or shop. I think it says my shop. Um, and click that, and it'll take you right to my store, and it's in there. And there's also a shirt in there that's for my friend, Deidre, on here. 
that um, that says she is, and it's for her, and she gets all 100% of the proceeds that come from that the sale of that shirt. Oh, y'all, I just got white paint in here. What in the world did I do? Now I gotta dip it in some turquoise and go back over it. I, d I got my paintbrush over here and some white paint somehow. Mod Podge and paint mixed together now. Wonder how that works. <laughs> I guess you can put Mod Podge and paint together. I've never tried it, but I just did it. Cause I got white paint somehow. It just makes it look streaky with the white paint on it. All right, so there's my Mod Podge. See my 25 cents and my little line. You could put lines down it, however you wanted to do it. Um, you've done that more than once, Linda. See, I'm glad I'm not the only person that loses their buggy in the store. I have the funniest stories. I didn't try to have the funniest stories. But I'm sure the look on my face was like, oh, this is not my buggy. Where's all my stuff? My treasures. <laughs> I found some good stuff at the Dollar Tree. All the time. I, I, can't, I can only say that I've only done that probably about one time. <laughs> I think. <laughs> that I remember or care to remember. The shirt I have on is in there. It's called Be the Light. It's there. Alright, let me turn this around. But the Mod Podge dies real fast. Look at that. And we're gonna glue them together. Let dry this over here. Yeah, the, the cup is the glass is from Dollar Tree. The bowl we're gonna put on top is from Dollar Tree. And then this little lid that I'm drying is this little container that's got the magnet on the back where the uh, office supplies are, where the paper clips and stuff are. Um, now I'm using the top of it for the top. All my treasures. Hey, look at these treasures when you go to the Dollar Tree. And you see something that you hadn't seen in Dollar Tree before, and you're like, oh, that's mine. Get out of my way. It's mine. Unloading the belt and realizing it wasn't your groceries. Nancy, now that's bad. You got all the way up there and unloaded them. Lost your car at Walmart. I have to. I had to go through the parking lot hitting the button going beep beep, you know, doing my car to try to find the <laughs> to try to find my car. Now I do that and I can remember being young and thinking people were crazy when they lost their car at the store. Yes, they are true to size. This is I have on an extra large, but I don't like it to be um I don't like it to be like all stuck sucked up on me. I like it to be a little roomy, but they're super tall. Okay, I think I got it done. All right, look at my hands. Cause I don't want to touch my, my Afghan. Okay, so there's, see it's just a glass and I painted it white and then I painted the blue over it. I'm gonna hold it back here so y'all can kind of see. But see how the little 25? Now y'all are all gonna be trying to, trying to write with your glue gun like me. And I mean, it's not perfect by any means. I'm gonna tell you up close, it's not perfect. Supermarket sweep, I used to love that show. And then uh, Guy Fer Ferrer, Ferrer well, how do you say his last name? He has that grocery games. That one's good too. See, it's not perfect. I got like this little bump right here on my little door here where the gun comes out. And I mean, it's not perfect. Look at my line up here. It's all jagged looking, but it's just going to add a little character to it. Okay, so now we got to put these bad boys together. And I have been worried about this part all day. So I've got my E6000, and if here's my key. If y'all have never seen me use this key and it's starting to ooze out. If you put this key, and it's in my little Amazon link shop. Um, let me wipe that off. It You put it at the end of your tube, and it lets you wind it all the way up and get all the E6000 out. It's the best thing ever. Um, so you just sit here, and I just crank my little, my little tube, my, my key. And it just cranks out my E6000 and I don't have to sit there and try to um, crinkle that tube up and get all the stuff out of the end. You could not find your car. <laughs> oh, 
And don't you just feel stupid? You feel like everybody in the world's looking at you going, oh my God, there's a crazy fool over there. Supermarket sweep is how you feel in Dollar Tree. Now, I put E6000, and just for other reinforcements, I'm going to put on some super glue. We're going to, we're just going to, we're going to lay it all on there tonight. Um, cause I will let it sit all night and we're going to put just a couple of little dots of hot glue. We're going to have the whole, we're putting the whole kitchen sink on this mug. Okay. I'm just trying to get it centered. And it's not quite centered, but... Okay. Okay. Looks like it's a little too far to the front, but it's okay. Keeps repeating me talking. That's weird. Come, go out and come back in, and maybe that'll quit. Alright. So, I will probably set something on it tonight just to make sure that E6000 dries but there it is isn't it cute see and then we'll put the little top on just like that look how stinking cute that is see isn't it cute it's so stinking cute yeah come go out and come back in okay so now I'm going to we're gonna make it cute with my hands and hopefully I won't get stuff everywhere. Okay. Yeah, if you'll go to the top of my page, on my main page, if you go to the top of the page, there's a there's a post that says um, where to find me other places. And if, if you click on that post and read all of it, at the very bottom it has my Amazon thing. And you can go, it'll take you like to my little Amazon store or whatever you want to call it of all my little favorite things that I use on Amazon. And the keys are in there. Um, anyway, so here's this. So... I am going to cut me some ribbon. This is some Dollar Tree, um, just some little gingham ribbon they have right now for Valentine's. It's got like little sparkly sides. Now, this is where you can change it up for the different seasons. The one in my living room that I showed y'all last night, it has pink, okay? So, I'm going to put this around here, but there's a trick to it because we're, gonna, we're not going to do it permanent. I'm just going to attach it with a glue dot. Just to get it to where I, if I want to change it out to another color, I can. Okay, so y'all all know what glue dots are. Um, I see them in the Dollar Tree sometimes. This is a box I think I've had forever. It's got 300 in here. So I use them when we had to do school projects for school and stuff. And glue dots are awesome if you've never used them. You just undo them. And they're clear, so you can't see them. But I know y'all can't see that. But it's like a sticky little piece of... It's a circle of glue right there. So I'm going to, which piece was it? Is it this one? Or is it this one? No, it's not that one. Okay. So I'm gonna, let's see, where's the center of the front? Okay. So I'm gonna take a glue dot. What you do is you take your glue dot. I use these for everything. Um, and it's a little clear. I know y'all can't see it. It's sticky right there. It's a little circle. And then I'm going to stick my ribbon to it. And then you pull it off. And so now the glue dot is on here and it's sticky. So I'll just stick it back here to the back. And so, you know, you could change this ribbon out. If I want to change it out for Easter and do like a pastel color, then um, I'll do that. So then I'm going to do the same thing and put another glue dot there on the other piece of the end of the ribbon. And then I'll just attach it in the back. So there it is. So if I want to change this out, I can change it out, the color of the ribbon. So these are awesome. Or you could just use scotch tape. It's whatever you want to do. Or if you want to put it on there permanent, then hot glue it on there. But that way it kind of gives you an, an option of changing the ribbon. And see, the ribbon just adds that little extra something something to it. Makes it look all cute. And then I did these earlier. These are wood heart beads, and they are on Amazon, and they're in my store. And um, these are on my white one, too. I did pink and white, I think. And I just did them like a little tassel-type thing. 
And so I'm just going to kind of put them over here like this, and then I'm just going to do this. So if you want to drape that in the front. But they're little wood heart beads. I think they're so stinking cute. But how stinking cute is that? Been looking everywhere for these to buy. And it, I couldn't see what she was saying. Okay. So, let me show you. So, if you want to do... Um, I have, like, this is just an example. The one in with the... I'm trying to think. The one with the... Um, the, my white one, I can't remember. I think this is in the bottom. I think it's tulle. I just cut a piece of tulle, and look, I burned a hole in it with my heat gun a, a minute ago because I laid it down on it, so it's got a hole in it. And I'm just going to kind of wide this up and stick it down in the bottom like this. Okay? So, and then here are the little letters. that are. These are mine, and... Um, see, that's how I painted them. Now, if you ordered these, I'm going to tell you that there is masking on the front and there's masking on the back. Just because I didn't want the back to have the burn marks on it, where you, if you painted the back white, it wouldn't mix with the paint. So, here's the little, I have all, like, pink and red and hot pink, like that. And so, I just put them down in here like this. And you get eight of them, but... I'm only going to put a few in there. But tell me how stinking cute this is. That is so stinking cute. And then for one, two, three, well, three and a half. And then if you have a bead or whatever, I mean, three dollars. And then you've got, you've got one and you can do this with hot glue. I mean, look how good that looks. It looks like it's just old and vintage kind of looking. But doesn't it look like a gumball machine? Um... But you don't have to use tool. You can use, um, I don't have any right here with me, but let me show you something else. Get you some of that crinkle paper, and you could use that little crinkle paper they have at the Dollar Tree. Um, or you could use Easter grass when Easter comes. And like, I gotta show y'all this because I got this today. Um, me and my husband went to Cracker Barrel. And I have a thing about their salt shakers. This is one of the salt shakers they have for Easter right now. Is he not? See, it's a salt shaker. But is he not the cutest little thing ever? And I get these and I put them on my tiered tray because I just set them around on my tiered tray because they are the perfect little size and they're so, so cute. Um, so, see, that's where my, you can put your little grass in there or put you some green tool in the bottom and put your little bunny in there. I know that light is making that, that place on and you can't see him, but isn't it cute? You could do this for Christmas. Um, you could put snow and put the little red truck in here for Christmas. You could put the bunny for Easter. You could do any holiday you want to. You could dress this up for fall and mix the, like I could use the aqua and use orange would look so pretty together. Um, put some little leaves and, and these little, they have squirrels and all kinds of stuff. Every season they put these out. Um, they have Christmas, they had little deer and I got those. But, um, and they're all, these are only 99 cents. And then today, they had a basket full of the ones that are um, from the past that I haven't sold. And I got a little, I didn't even bring him out, a little, um, it's an eagle, and he's dressed in Uncle Sam clothes, like for 4th of July. But you could do this 4th of July. You could put those little, you know, those little uh, vase fillers that Dollar Tree has, those little balls. You could put that in here, any kind of little thing. But I just thought this was so, oop, so cute. And put him down in there, just like that. You could put little carrots, any kind of little somethings or anything. Or you could put the conversation hearts for Valentine's. Fill it up with candy. Put Hershey Kisses in it. It would be so, so cute. Um, for every holiday. And But, I, you know, I have a white one already that I showed y'all. So, I did this one blue because I'm going to put it back here probably. But maybe I'll put some Hershey Kisses in and that'll be my little jar. <laughs> So, um, so let me, I'm going to scroll and we're going to pick a name. Christy Kilpatrick Spencer. Christy Kilpatrick Spencer. Message me and I will send you a, one of these. I see. Christy. That's a big mouthful. Kilpatrick Spencer. Applicator. Okay, I have to write it down or I forget. Did I get, yes, I did. I got two syrup bottles um, today. 
And my husband said, are you going to take dessert bottles? And I was like, no, I'm going to leave them because I have enough. And then I just couldn't leave the table without taking them, so I took them with me. I got to get them out of my purse, actually. Uh, you have a shop on Facebook for your goodies. I, yes, the, you could use a soda. I started to do that. Actually, I have it out here somewhere. The little pop-top thing off the top of a can. You could put that on here and then paint over it where it's all the same, um, the same color. But you can hang beads off. You can do anything with this little this little dude. Let me turn him the right way. But look how stinking cute it is. And so I knew after y'all saw mine last night, you would be like, oh my gosh, I gotta have the gumball machine. And um, I had this up my sleeve because I was really gonna make a pre-recorded video and show y'all how to do it. But then I was like, no, no, no. And Nancy says, oh, I think you need to do it tonight because everybody had a fit over that, the one you showed last night. So I had to, um, I had to break this out because it's all been sitting up here waiting for a perfect time to do it. Hey, neighbor, Nancy. What do I use the syrup bottles for? Um, I use them... For, I make little um, salt shaker snowmen at Christmas time. And I have a video on them uh, that was back in July. You can look for that. Um, and it's titled um, Salt Shaker Snowman. Is your Easter marshmallow mug by, still behind you? Easter? Yes. No, I took his... Oh, who, who asked me that? Um, no, but Darlene, um, Darlene Gratton made me these little hats. So if y'all want to message her... Somebody asked about my marshmallow mug. Um, she, made, oh, she made these little hats and she'll make you some too. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Um, the, white, the white one. I didn't bring it in here. I got, once I got started doing the live, I was like, oh my goodness. I didn't even bring, um, uh, I didn't even bring the white one in here. I was like, I should have brought it in here. Yeah, you could use stickers for the 25 cents if you wanted to. You could do that. I started to do that. And I I thought, no, I'm going to try to do something different. So I did the glue. So um, so I hope y'all make these. But I know y'all are going to go crazy with them and paint them all kinds of colors. But um, And you could do it with the flower pot at the bottom. And then the flower, the saucer at the top. I've seen that done a lot. Um... Oh, good. You ordered some hats today? Um, the little envelopes, I'm hoping I'll have them done by the end of the week because I am leaving Friday going to see Deidre and, um, because it's just killing me. But I already had planned because my soon-to-be daughter-in-law is going dress shopping for a wedding dress Saturday, and she invited me to go. So I'm going to that Saturday, but I'm going to stay with Deidre, and I'm going to get COVID tested Friday morning. Yeehaw! <laughs> I'll do that for her because I love her that much. Um, so I'm going to do that and go see her. And so I'll probably, I can put them back on the site. I just won't ship them till probably Monday. But I will tell you all this. Um, my new laser, I haven't got it up and running. I'm going to, my husband's going to put it in my room in here over the weekend because he has to have like four, four neighbors help him because it weighs 500 pounds. And I have a training set up for Monday. So probably next week, I will not be cutting a lot of stuff because I've got to do a virtual training on Monday because they have to show me how to work it. Um, and I have to learn how to, I got to learn a whole new software and I got to learn a whole new um a whole new platform of how this laser works because it's totally different from the Glowforge. It's a whole lot more um it's not as uh I would say user friendly, but it's a lot more technical stuff than the Glowforge. So I've got to learn all that. Um oh thank you Darla. Colleen, I may give it one more run. I just didn't want to run into too close to Valentine's because I'm ready to start Easter, y'all. I've been working on some um, um, working on some Easter designs and stuff, and I'm so excited. I'm like, I'm ready to put that out because I want to. Um, 
Yeah, Nancy, just put Darlene's name if you want the hats. That's who you need to message. Who's doing mad faces? I missed that. I will, Joanne. I will give her a big hug, and um, I'm going to write her a check for, you know, what, however many shirts it was. The, the, the profit off of the shirts go totally to her, and I will show y'all a picture of what y'all did um, because it was all y'all, and it blows me away to... Um, there's the link for the shirt right there. Tammy Coxwell just posted it. Um, it blows me away that y'all have done that for her. And um, it just, it blows her away too. She's just beside herself about it. So I will have to count up the shirts and how much profit was off of the shirts. And then I'll write her a check and I'll let y'all see the check. Because I want to be totally transparent. Because I'm not making one cent off the shirts. It's totally going to her. Um... I will. I'll give her hugs, and, and she has read the comments and the prayers, and she feels the prayers, and she's just like, she just can't believe that, you know, I said, there are good people in the world. There are, and they're all right here, is what, <laughs> from my opinion, they're all my followers. Oh, Heidi, welcome, welcome, welcome. You'll have to be sure to follow, and um, we'll be here. Who makes these? It's Dana Merritt. Dana... What's her middle name? It's not Springsteen. Something like that. Merritt. Dana Merritt does that. It's all right, Marie. It's okay. You can pray for her. That's, I mean, that's, that's what we need is prayers, and she needs prayers. Yes, Dana Merritt. If she, I don't know if Dana's on here. I haven't seen Thank you, Terry. I got your box today, and it blew me away, and I'm going to have to show that on my next live. So, Friday night, I won't be live. Um, I may try to come live Thursday if I can get everything pulled together and get all these packages because um, I've packed packages today. Oh, thank you, Melanie. And um, so, I've packed all, a lot of packages today, so I'll be packing tomorrow and until I get them all sent out from last night. Um Oh, good. Thank you, Janice. Yeah, it is Springsteen. Okay, like Bruce Springsteen. I was just thinking, I don't know why that... Oh, Darla, you're sweet. I mean, what kind of friend would I be? You know? I mean, that's just what anybody would do, I think. Um, oh, she is here. Okay, so Dana's on. Okay, so I got... I'm going to do one more applicator. So hold on, go way back. Nancy Lawrence, Nancy Lawrence, if you're still on, message me and I will send you one of these. They're wonderful things to have. Nancy Lawrence. Let me write it down. Can we still order shirts in February? Yeah, you can still, you can, the shirts are there. You can, oh yeah, the shirts, the, um, Deidre shirts. Yeah, they're still there. Um, they'll probably be there, but they, um, but just know that, um, the shirt girl, my shirt girl, she counted up all the shirts that's been ordered thus far. And then she ordered the shirts today. And then once they come in, in a couple of days, she'll make them and then she'll start getting them out. Um, yeah, the shirts are still there. Thank you, Brenda. Oh, Lori, thank you. She has a rare form of lymphoma that's very, very rare. Her oncologist said he's not ever treated it, and he probably will never in his career. That's that rare. I was like, when you're going to do something, you're going to do it good, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I made this gum. The gumball machine I showed last night, is. Uh, it came from Target. But it's been a few weeks ago because it's been sitting here on my counter waiting for me to spray paint it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Donna. Thank you, Donna. All right, guys. Are you going to do St. Patty's crafts? I can. I might do a few. Um, it's just not something that I decorate for. I don't know a lot of people that do. Um... um yeah, somebody said, I made this one. This is the one I made tonight out of stuff from the Dollar Tree. So, if you miss it, you'll have to go back and watch. Check my order. 
Okay, I'll check it. It's three. Let me write that down, Cheryl. 4037. Okay. I'll check it. I got it wrote down. Oh, hey, Kathy, you about missed me. Thank y'all for the prayers. Thank y'all for the prayers. Um, but she's she's doing a little better from her chemo on Tuesday. So um, I was talking about going next time. She has, she has a treatment every three weeks. And so, by the time she starts feeling good, she'll have to have another treatment. So, she's got one down. Yeah, I'll do some St. Patty's crafts. I'll do some. Because, you know, we can take the hearts and turn them into four-leaf clovers and stuff. So, yeah. Yes, please, Donna. Please put her in the prayer box. Oh, thank you, Alice. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to hop off. And I can't wait to see how y'all do these because y'all are going to just run with it. But like I said, if you can't find the glass, this is a glass bowl and then this container from the Dollar Tree. Um, just look around and see what else you can find. You could use a flower pot for the bottom, the saucer for the top. People do that. Um, you could use like a, a jar lid for the top. Anything like that that would fit because it just sets on here. You know, it doesn't seal. Yes, Angela, I'm going to try to, um, tomorrow I'll probably cut some more and I'll probably put them back up at least one more time before I leave, hopefully. Oh, you love St. Patty's Day? I like it too, but it's green, but, uh, I don't typically decorate for it because it's like here and gone and like I'm ready to put my Easter stuff out already. All right, guys, I'm going to hop off. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I cannot wait to see all the fun colors that y'all paint this because you know, I know in the group they're going to be in there and they're going to be all kinds of cool colors. Somebody's probably going to make five and make five different colors and I'm going to be jealous and have to make all the rainbow colors. <laughs> Absolutely, Janice. All right, guys, I'm going to hop off. And um, like I said, I'm going to try to come live Thursday night. I'm going to try. I just got These orders are my main priority, trying to get them out the door and all that stuff. So I'm, I might try to get them on um, Thursday night instead of Friday. All right, guys, have a good night. Have a good week. And thank you all for the prayers. I know she appreciates it. All right, love all of y'all. Thank you. Bye.